highway that's the thing. Get your kicks on the 66. Alright, it's time for another edition of We Get Our Kicks Reading Book 66, the Kennedy Reading Summer Reading Challenge, where we read uh, a different book each and every day that is an award winning book and it's inspired by a different location in and around Barrow County. Today, I am at the West Side Middle School, right next to Kennedy Elementary School, the middle school that we feed into, and I'm right there. They're doing some construction on the new building, and I'm by here, this uh, big digger. And it inspired the book Sam and Dave Dig a Hole by Mac Barnett, illustrated by John Clausen. Uh, so you can see there's a big hole, uh, dirt being pulled out. And this is what we're doing lots of digging stuff. So it inspired the book. So I'm going to read Sam and Dave Dig a Hole. As I read, I'm always going to try to model what good readers do, which is read fluently, which means I read the words uh, correctly. I read them not at a good pace, not too fast, not too slow, and I read with expression. As I read, I need you guys to model what good readers do, and that is listen for the story elements, the character, who or what the story is about, the setting, where and when the story is taking place, the uh, sequence of events, what happens first and next and last. Uh, we want you to not just read and hear the words, we want you to understand what you're reading, which is called comprehension. And a great comprehension strategy is to read the questions before you read the story. So we give you those questions to help you focus on what you're reading and be able to pick things out. So I'm going to read Sam and Dave Dig a Hole by Mac Barnett, illustrated by John Clausen. And uh, hopefully you enjoy it. And uh, now I'm going to get out of this construction site because they're going to be digging some more holes. West Side's going to look awesome next year. Have a good one. Sam and Dave Dig a Hole by Mac Barnett, illustrated by John Clausen. On Monday, Sam and Dave dug a hole. When should we stop digging? asked Sam. We're on a mission, said Dave. We won't stop digging until we find something spectacular. The hole got so deep that their heads were underground but they still had not found anything spectacular. We need to keep digging, said Dave. So, they kept digging. They took a break. Dave drank hot chocolate, or drank chocolate milk out of a canteen. Sam ate animal cookies he had wrapped in their, his, in their grandmother's kerchief. Maybe, said Dave. The problem is that we're digging straight down. Yes, said Sam. That could be a problem. I think we should dig in another direction, said Sam. Said Dave. Yes, said Sam. That is a good idea. I have a new idea, said Dave. Let's split up. Really, said Sam. Just for a little while, said Dave. It will help our chances. So Dave went one way, and Sam went another. But they did not find anything spectacular. Maybe we should go back to digging straight down, said Dave. Yes, said Sam. That is a good idea. Sam and Dave ran out of chocolate milk, but they kept digging. They shared the last animal cookie, but 
they kept digging. After a while, Sam sat down. Dave, he said, I'm tired. I can't dig anymore. I'm tired too, said Dave. We should take a rest. Sam and Dave fell asleep. Sam and Dave were falling. Sam and Dave fell down, down, down. Until they landed in the soft dirt. Well, said Sam. Well, said Dave. That was pretty spectacular. And they went inside for chocolate milk and animal cookies. Sam and Dave dig a hole.